Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> Colin Sad, welcome. Colin, cup games. You've been a player and a coach in a lot of these. How do you compare cup games in England with uh, cup games in Denmark? I, first of all, I've got to say uh, the cup games in England meant something special. Uh, the FA Cup was treated with a lot of respect um, in them days. Um, I think at the moment, because of all the foreign players in England um, and the squads, that they don't look upon the FA Cup uh, as a major trophy anymore. Um, not all clubs, but uh, Premier League clubs look at other silverware, you know, yeah, certain yeah. ones. But a lot of the lesser clubs look, look upon it as something major, yeah. which it should be because... As a player, for, uh, you know, there was nothing better for when I was playing to, to get to Wembley for an FA Cup day. Yeah. The closest I got was a semi-final where we played Man United at, at, at Hillsborough and lost 2-1. But it meant a lot for chairman, board of directors, supporters, yeah. you know, and I think it's one of the easiest ways, when I say the easiest way, of getting silverware. But in saying that, there's always surprises. Uh, and the FA Cup or the Football League Cup has always been noted for some of the big clubs getting knocked out by the lesser teams. Yeah. And and the reason being, the lesser teams approach the game as though it's their cup final, yeah. a one-off game, yeah. uh, and to uh, raise the game, yeah. which they do, and, and there will always be surprises uh, in, in cup football. And, you know... We look ahead to our game um, on tomorrow, and I've always said um, that English football or English Cup is exactly the same as, as the Danish in terms of the lesser teams want to get a major scalp. Yeah. And is it big enough in Denmark the cup? Well, yeah, I think. I, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed getting to to the cup final, yeah, and it was a great experience for me. Great atmosphere. Good, uh, you know, for the players, but great for the the club, great for the supporters. Unfortunately, we, we we lost the game, but we acquitted ourselves very well. But the important thing was that for me, it was a new, it was something new, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I, and I said to the players, I would love to to get back uh, to the cup final after that experience, you know. And I think we have been close on on occasions, and. Uh, you know, we, last season we got knocked out on penalties. And I think if we'd gotten through that one, that would have opened the door for us probably to get to the final. It wasn't to be. Now we have another opportunity. But in comparisons with English, uh, obviously uh, tradition probably is more about the FA Cup than what there is uh, with the Cup in, in Denmark. But I think everybody has to, to re respect the Cup in, in Denmark. Uh, and... Not only do, do the players care about it, I think for, for the supporters to have a day at a cup final is something that they would look forward to. So we have to make sure uh, tomorrow that we have the medal, um, that we have the desire, uh, our temperament is right. But Colin, if I may, we know we're, we're going to play against the lower team. Yeah. How do you select your players? Because you, you also know you don't need to play your best players. No, it gives me the opportunity because it, it's good at this moment in time because we've had players out injured, so they will get the opportunity to play in that game. Um, and they're experienced players as well, but uh, we'll have a mixture of, of youth as well. Um, but whatever side I put out there, whether it's in the Super League or whether it's a cup game, I expect them to give it the best and I expect them to uh, to win games of football. You know, um, and this is uh, the art of uh, selecting a team, what you feel is the right one to uh, select. But I've normally gone with uh, a consistent 11 if they've done well. Yeah. But I think you saw the last game, a lot of people thought Mas Eisen might have played, but I didn't. Uh, I left them out and I brought Yepa back. Um, so people have to be prepared that there will be changes in the side. Not for the benefit of me, for the for, no. for the benefit of trying to win a game, and we go down to for the cup game tomorrow. Uh, we know that they will raise the game. And stand low. They will well. No, they'll raise the the energy levels. Yeah. The energy levels will be greater. I mean, I went over to Silkeborg. I saw them, which was important for me to have a look at them. Yeah. 
What do you know about them? Are they well, I saw them play, and uh, they play a four-four-two. Um, they've got a couple of midfielders who like to get on the ball and play. Um, they're organised, uh, and they're going to make life very, very difficult for us. But uh, we have to be right mentally. You know, mentally, our attitude has to be right. If you if you go to a game and you're not mentally prepared and you think it's going to be easy, then you come unstuck. So we have to match them for their work energy. And they will raise the game another 20% because they're playing against us. And they want to show uh, people that we are capable or they are capable of, of beating Randers. So, I mean, uh, we've come up, while well, I've been here, uh, this is my fourth season, we've come up against lesser sides and we've come through the hurdles so we have another hurdle to come through tomorrow night, and I, uh, I believe that we can get through that, provided we accept that they will throw everything at us and we have to stand, stand strong.